my focus. What's the difference between... What's your name? Josh. What's the difference between this camera and the one over there for video? The D90 and the 70. The 70 is a much better camera, much more expensive. Um, D90 only shoots 720p, 70 uh, shoots 1080p. Um, D90 has a locked frame rate, 70 shoots 24, 25, and 30p. Um, both very good cameras, but at the end of the day, if you're considering a DSLR, you probably should consider the still photography over the video. If you want a good video camera, I recommend buying a video camera. There's less firmware problems, and uh, it's just simpler to use. So which video camera do you recommend? Um, nothing for around three or four thousand dollars. All the cameras I recommend are around eight to ten. What's the brand? I like the JVC HD250 with an Anton Bauer battery kit and a Red Rock 35mm adapter for Zeiss lenses. And you can't translate that, can you? No. That's, that's all. And what do you do with your video camera? I uh, shoot short films. Budget is terrible short films. And Good this, fun. this is how you get the budget? This is how I get the budget. I so live in a hostel. You live in a hostel? No, no. Hobble. It's not a very nice one. But, you know, I save all my money for video. So tell me, out of the Canon and the Nikon, can you show me the two in the cabinet and tell me the features? Well, you're, you're holding the D90 now. Quite fond of that camera. Uh, the other one you were considering was the 500D. I have to tell you that between them, I prefer the 500D, uh, excuse me, the D90, simply because it's a much better source camera. But the 500D is not nearly as good in low light. It's a different tier of camera. The manual functions on it are tedious and really hard to use. The D90 is easy to use, has dedicated manual functions, two selection wheels, and I find the Nikon's color space is infinitely more attractive than anything you can find in the camera. And why is the color better on the Nikon? Uh, it's captured more naturally. It's not over-processed, much like Canon's Digic 3 and Digic 4 process units, which turn all your colors incredibly vivid. And the C raw color space, the way it captures the raw photo, doesn't give you nearly as much room to play in, in the post-production. Sounds like you know what you're talking about. I try. And what are the prices? Uh, I can do the um, twin lens kit for the D90 for $17.49, or I can do the 18 to 200 single lens kit for $22.99. And the um, 500D is on special at the moment, Twin Lens goes for $14.99, and I'm not sure what the agent is doing under prices, so I assume it's around $2,100. But what if I just want a single lens? Uh, do you want a single lens that has a lot of zoom, or a single lens that's normal? Is this the one I've got on that's a really good one? Yeah, that one's How... $22.99. And, and what's the size of it? It's 18mm to 200mm, which on that camera is equivalent to 27 to 300 That sounds very good. Thank you. You're very welcome.